we're going to be demonstrating some resource guarding today uh, and how you can use obedience to change that. We're not going to be attacking the resource guarding, we're going to be mitigating it and working with it and preventing it. You can see this dog is in a down stay. We are preventing his access to resources through the use of obedience. Down stay is not an option. We have two toys, two food pacifier, chew pacifiers, and to his right, off camera, we have a veritable coven of rabbits that know to stay out of the yard when we're in here. So we've got a variety of different competing interests for this dog. So what is he doing now? not possessing or accessing an object. He is not seeking to possess. In his ideal world, he would like to. He's a little rusty, so of course you can see him jonesing from one to the next to the next. But what is his priority right now? That down stay. So by calling him to me, we are going to replace the down stay with the recall. And we're going to replace that priority of accessing with his adherence to obedience. He has not been worked in a while, so you can see he's rusty, but he ignores his impulse. He's still jonesing, but he's not accessing. continue to prevent his access by using obedience. That's because what's the number one thing in life to remember? You don't always get what you want. And sometimes because I say so is a very acceptable answer. The other thing we can do is send him away. If he's jonesing and I want him out of the immediate area, if he's begging for food, if he's sitting in front of me while he eat, while I eat, that's rude. So I'm going to send him away. Out. So he still got it, needed a couple reminders, and if you saw, he misinterpreted. He heard my command as a release, went to go Jones for something, and I said, no, that is not yours. So we work around these things. I'm not going to punish him for trying to access, because what's the number one rule of dog law? It means if he gets something and it is vital to his survival, if you reach for it, you will be bitten. You have every right to be bitten. That is the number one rule that people forget. Dogs do not share. And I just don't get why people insist on thinking that they can stick their hands in a dog's dish and not expect to come away with a few less digits. It is the law of possession and the rule of dog. If a dog has something, you move the dog, not the item. So let's give them access to something. I'll let him choose even. Release. Release. So we like our big beefy cheek roll. And he's going to start chewing it because I have allowed him access. Access has been granted by permission. He gave me what I want. I'm going to give him what he wants. A little bit of time with some entertainment, which tells you what his value system is. But if something happens where continued access to that object places his welfare in danger, or if we just need to get a little move on, remember, we're not going to remove the resource. We're going to move the dog, and we're going to use his respect through obedience command and the prioritized things in his life so that he abandons the object. 
because we don't have time for him to go through that whole thing or chew it down to the point where he feels compelled to abandon it by himself where we can suddenly step in and get it. Isaac, out, here, out, good, here. Good boy, all right, good dog, out, settle. So I'm just gonna leave him there, we'll get it. dog that really, really wants this and desires to possess it. I see you. I could be using a better demo though, but all things considered, I've been busy, he hasn't been trained in a while. This goes to show you that you can still fall back on training, even if it's been a while. You still have that basic modicum of respect and obedience command. So his reward for his cooperation is access. And he's going to go where he feels comfortable to chew it. If I needed to control his access, then I would be controlling the toy and I would be controlling the dog. He would not have that kind of freedom. This is a trained dog. He is very exceedingly tolerant and polite, especially with people. But I would not put anything past him because he is a dog. He follows the rule of dog and the law of possession. The best we can do is work with it, use obedience to mitigate any issues, and live with it. And if you're really good, Isaac here. boy. You let him keep it. And you just work with it. Boy. Eyes cute. Boy. Ow. Boy. Really. Because his reward for giving it up that he gets his object back. If he willingly gives up an object or brings it to you, the reward is always that they get it back. If it's dangerous and they bring it to you, that's awesome, they don't get it back. They're praised for a job well done. So not the best demo dog, but certainly very useful. If I wanted to control the toy, if I did have an aggressive dog that took possession and I needed to control the toy, we've got our simple ball on a rope, which is quite frankly chopped liver right now. But this way we do control the toy. So if we needed him to give it up, we're just going to let it go in earth until he gives up and goes somewhere else. We'd also be controlling the dog with a long line. So we're going to go in there. Oh, it's a nice tug. But the 
because this dog also has it trained out, I don't have to wait. Out. <coughs> Continue to access the good conduct and behavior. And when he wins, watch what happens. giving it up. Because we have that permission for obedience. Yes. Don't touch what isn't yours. Downstay does not mean possess or access an object. We'll stop there. He's been a good boy. And the funny thing is, after all that, release and allow access, what's the first thing he goes for? Bring, bring. He wants to play. Because this means something. And this is something we do together. He loves working together. I think that says something a lot about character. And how training affects that relationship. So part two. If he's playing with himself, with his ball toy, I still am not allowed to reach in and grab it. That is his. It's got the string on it, but we could also take the easy way out. Some would call it lazy and use training. So oh, entertaining himself, entertaining himself. Isaac out. Here. Out. Here. Good boy. Good dog. So again, here's me not getting bit. Getting my object back. Eyes here. Boy, that's. Here's me not getting bit. Cleaning up because we make messes. It's that easy. It takes a lot of training and living it as a lifestyle. That's why I say he's rusty. That's why we maintain those basic skills. Even though you saw the mistakes, he still tried.